begin standing, we're starting with a warm-up. Clasp your hands and draw figure eights. For this workout, you will need a resistance loop band. Go with a challenging weight if you have the choice. I'm using extra heavy. If you don't have a band, you can do all of these exercises without one. Release the hands and roll your shoulders back. Hands on hips, feet shoulder width apart, hip circles one way. Then the other. Widen your legs as you rotate to the left. Half fold, flat back. Then fold all the way down and pulse to lunge and back five times. To flat back, then all the way up, rotate over to the right, fold halfway, then all the way down to lunge and back five times. Lift halfway, then all the way up. Walk the feet in and grab your resistance band, placing it around your legs above your knees. We're starting with squats 15 times, making sure to avoid turning the knees in, keeping the legs engaged and working against the resistance band. Last one. Remove the band and place it below your left foot, holding on to the other end with both hands. We're going into single leg deadlifts five times on each side. Shift your weight to the left and float the right leg. Come to a half fold, raising the right leg back, and return to standing without touching the right foot down if possible.
Last one. Move the band to the other foot. Five more. Remove the band, step to the right edge of your mat and place the band just above your ankles. With a small bend in the knees, side step to the other edge of your mat and back, move at your own pace. Last length. Move to the center of your mat, keeping the band where it is, feet shoulder width apart. We're going into squats with alternating straight leg side kicks. Resist the band on the squat, avoid turning the knees in. Follow me or move at your own pace. Last one, back to standing, feet shoulder width apart, clasp your hands ahead of you and shift your weight to the right, floating the left foot, to lateral kicks 20 times. Lower the foot, other side, 20 times. Release and take a moment to shake out the legs. Back to standing, feet shoulder width apart, 
float the left foot, balancing on the right, holding onto a wall or chair, or clasping your hands ahead of you, kick the left leg back 20 times. Other side when you're done. Release, then make your way to the back of your mat as we go into monster walks. You're going to position your feet as wide as your mat and your goal is going to be to keep them this wide. If you don't have a mat, bring your feet a bit wider than shoulder width. Move to the front of your mat in wide steps, keeping a slight bend in the knees, then back. Follow me or move at your own pace. Last one. Shake out the legs. Keeping the band above the ankles, make your way to a plank position on your hands. Side step to one side, then the other. Keep moving, alternating step outs. Last one, lower the knees and stretch back. Coming forward to plank on your forearms this time, Point the right toes, we're kicking the right leg up 10 times. Left side 10 times. Lower the knees, stretch back. Move to a table position, shifting the band around your feet. 
slide the left leg back, then rainbow the left foot from side to side as wide as you can send it, working against the resistance band. Return to table, slide the right leg back, rainbow the foot from one side over to the other. Last one. Return to table. Keep the band where it is as we move into donkey kicks. Starting on the left side, kick the left leg back and up 10 times. Last one. Over to the right 10 times. Last one, lower and stretch back. Pull the band above your knees and return to table. We're going into fire hydrants, starting on the left 10 times. Bring that knee as high as you can, working against the band. to the right 10 times. Lower and stretch it back. Keeping the band where it is, move on to your side with your knees bent, lining up the soles of your feet in line with your back. We're going into clamshells. Keep the feet together as you lift and lower the top knee without touching the knees together between reps 20 times. Shift onto the opposite side. Clam shells 20 times.
Last one. Turn onto your back, knees bent. Feet shoulder width apart, and with a small stretch and the resistance band, arms at your sides. The band should still be around your legs, above your knees. We're going into bridge pulses, lifting and lowering the hips with as much control as possible, keeping your knees apart, working against the band. 15 times or moving at your own pace. Keep your glutes engaged throughout and avoid touching the tailbone down between reps. Last one, lower all the way down, hug your knees in for a rest. Send those legs straight up, feet shoulder width apart, with light tension on the band, arms at your sides, we're doing double leg lifts 10 times. Lower the legs together as low as you can while maintaining control of the movement. Last one, bring the legs back in and move the band to just above the ankles. Bring your legs back up. We're going to pull the band apart as wide as we can, keeping the legs straight 20 times or move at your own pace. Last one, draw the knees in and move the band around the feet. Legs to tabletop position, clasp your hands behind your head and raise the shoulders, tucking the chin down. To crisscross abs, kick the left leg out, right knee in, twist the body reaching left elbow to right knee and switch. Follow me or move at your own pace.
Last one. Remove the band and toss it aside. Hug the knees in for a rest. Release the legs, cross the left foot over the right leg, pick it up and hug it into a figure four stretch. Other side. Release the legs and make your way to seated, soles of the feet together in a bound angle pose. Hold on to the feet or ankles, get long through the back, slight lean forward. To table, pull the left leg forward to a pigeon stretch. Get long through the back before folding over that front leg. back to table and move into pigeon with the right leg forward, again getting long through the back before folding over.
Press up, then move on to your belly. Going into a cobra pose, keeping your elbows bent if you prefer. Release and make your way back to a child's pose to finish up.